Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to a new video. Today I have so much to show you. There has been some shopping. I have ordered so many new things. Just been picking up pieces here and there over the past month. I just realized I have so much stuff. I thought I would sit down and do a big old school collective haul with you guys. So we've got so much stuff to go through. We've got knitwear, we've got basics, we've got a new pair of shoes, we've got some dresses, we've got a bag, there's jewelry. There is so much for me to go through with you guys so we're going to jump into it and this video will contain a pay for integrated partnership with lily silk i'm really excited to be working with them and i have a code that i will pop on the screen for them i'm so excited to be sharing some new gorgeous silky pieces from them with you and also a lot of knitwear we love a knitwear haul so let's get into it also do excuse the chopping and changing of the light it is one of those days where it is raining it is sunny it is windy it's a lot so we're just gonna have to roll with it but anyway let me show you the items so if you've watched my videos for a while you probably already know what a big fan i am of lily silk like i have so many pieces of theirs already in my wardrobe like the black silk shirt from them it came with me from my house to ryan's house whilst we've been temporarily staying here it's such a staple piece in my wardrobe and i love their silk shirt in particular because they're so much softer than like a cotton material but also so much more breathable than satin like silk is just my top tier choice when it comes to shirts and I actually have a new one here which I am so excited to show you like look at this color is that not just stunning it's this beautiful dark olive long sleeved shirt it looks absolutely gorgeous i cannot wait to try this on like look at the way that silk just flows and falls it's so beautiful and one of the things i love about lily silk is they will often take the off cuts of silk shirts or other silk items and they will use them to make scrunchies and like eye masks and things like that so there's zero waste and i just absolutely love that but anyway i got this shirt and i just think it will be such a lovely addition to my wardrobe i'm thinking this with like a pair of white trousers would look so stunning you could also do a pair of brown trousers or just classic black would look amazing you could also pair it with like a skirt and just have it loose over the top and then a pair of knee high leather boots would look unreal i just think it's such a beautiful shirt it looks so expensive i just oh their shirts are just so gorgeous so i'm really excited to get styling this up in my wardrobe i also picked up this stunning pair of chocolate brown silk trousers i am going to have to take these off a little bit because i just know they're going to be very long on me however if you are a taller girly these will be unreal on you these are just so beautiful like this silk feels so luxurious i can't wait to try this on i think it's gonna be so gorgeous i've got quite a few brown tops i've actually ordered a new brown top that is in another order that i've made so we can maybe see how they look together i'm just gonna adjust my settings a little bit because i feel like there oh my god wow hi you can see me the light is just going crazy today so these are gorgeous and high-waisted and they've got belt loops as well which i just absolutely love i hate when trousers don't have belt loops i'm so excited to try these on i'll pop sizing and everything in the info box below because the label is showing american sizing but i did my order in uk sizing so i don't want to get things wrong or confuse anyone so i will just pop all of the sizing info in the info box below but yeah i'm so excited about these i just think they're the most gorgeous pair of trousers they'll be amazing for like dinners this could be part of a christmas day outfit for me i just i think they are stunning i'm so excited to get wearing those pieces and incorporating them into my wardrobe like last year's lily silk order i don't know if you guys have noticed but it got the wear and it still continues to get the wear whether it's the white and black shirts they have become an absolute staple in my wardrobe i got a pair of black silk shorts which i have worn on repeat i'll pop a li little photo i wore them so much in the summer but they're also a gorgeous pair of shorts for nights out in the winter the stripe jumper i cannot wait to move home back to my own home which is very soon and be reunited with that stripe jumper like that oh it's just the most gorgeous jumper and so soft as well this is the thing with lily silk whether it's their cashmere or their wool like their wool is so soft i don't normally think about wool as being soft but they use the most luxurious materials and honestly it's the softest wool i've ever worn like it's the only retailer that i really enjoy buying wool from and i feel confident when i'm buying wool from them that it's not going to be itchy or rough on my skin like all of their materials just feel so beautiful and like silky soft on the skin including what i'm wearing right now oh i forgot another thing that i have worn on repeat literally to death is their cashmere black roll necks 
again another item that i cannot wait to be home and be reunited with they keep you so warm as well so like during the winter i don't have to wear like a ton of layers i can literally just wear the cashmere like roll neck and you can tuck it into like a pair of skinny jeans and have like a really streamlined silhouette if you want or you can layer stuff over it but honestly i can just wear the one layer and be so warm during the winter and i really love that because i hate wearing lots of big bulky layers and that's another thing i love even their chunky knitwear isn't like super chunky and heavy it doesn't even need to be it will keep you warm regardless because the materials are such good quality but anyway a piece of knitwear that keeps me lovely and warm but isn't chunky is this knit that i got from them it's so beautiful it's the most gorgeous beigey kind of oatmeal tone it's got a little cable neck kind of detail on it it's so lovely so soft i do not have the heating on at all in the house right now and i am a big like fan of heating your girl gets very cold but i am literally toasty right now no heating on because this cashmere jumper is keeping me so so warm i'm obsessed i just love the color of it as well this with a pair of wide leg trousers and trainers would just be the most like chic gorgeous cozy look but you can also just wear it with a pair of jeans and a pair of knee-high boots if you just want to be like comfy cozy their items really can do the most i'm just obsessed and if you were going to buy one knitwear oh would i say that I think if you were going to buy one knitwear item from them right now, I would get this. This would also be the most gorgeous Christmas gift for someone as well. I think it's just one of those pieces that so many people would love. It is just absolutely stunning. But I actually have a few more bits to show you. This one I'm really excited about. This is giving all the cosy vibes. I'm so excited to rip the tag out of this and get this tried on. It's a beautiful zip up kind of hoodie jumper situation. It's a gorgeous knit that is 70% wool and 30% cashmere and it's in this like hoodie style which I just love. This would just look so like comfy but really chic with just a pair of black leggings. This is going to be an absolute staple for me when I'm just wearing like my active wear and my trainers but I want to look really really cute but also be so warm i can just throw this on over the top like i would love to have this in a multitude of different colors it would make my life complete this is literally like the softest thing ever i can't, i can't wait to wear this literally the second i'm done with filming for the day i am going to be in this honestly been excited about it for so long i was dreaming about it when i was in bali halfway across the world and couldn't wait to get home and into my knitwear i also have another gray knit which is very very similar to the knit i'm wearing right now it actually has a slightly wider cable knit design i think it's just a little bit bigger than what i've got on at the moment this i am so excited to wear with like my gray skirt i have this gray mini skirt that i love wearing with like tights and knee-high boots i think this would look so stunning with it but i also have a pair of black high-waisted trousers which I have been loving wearing this autumn and I think this would look so beautiful with that as well just like tucked in really relaxed vibes a pair of trainers a nice oversized like tote bag I think this would be unreal but also just with a pair of leggings again this would look gorgeous basically lily silk pieces are unreal for like elevating an outfit it doesn't matter what you're wearing like they always just make what you're wearing look better so i got this in a size small and again it's 70 percent wool and 30 percent cashmere it's literally unreal like the softest softest material ever i know i'm gonna get so much wear out of this this winter is so beautiful and it's got this really lovely kind of relaxed fit to it it's not going to be super fitted i really like the way the jumpers kind of fall they're not too big not too small just like a nice relaxed fit but the material was just so it just falls so beautifully you can tuck it in really easily and it just looks really beautiful and effortless the final piece of knitwear which i'm so excited to show you guys like i am obsessed with the color of this it is stunning I may have already pulled the tag out of this one because I was that excited to give this one a try on. Again, I got this in a size small and it's 100% cashmere. It's so beautiful. It's got a lovely relaxed fit and it's got this collar and then an open neckline. I just think it's so, so beautiful. Again, it would look so lovely with a pair of brown trousers, but also my white trousers and just jeans and leggings and everything in general like the pieces are so versatile i'm in love with this it's just got a long 
nice long sleeve it's gonna be so comfy cozy and it's going to keep me so warm so i know this is going to be an absolute staple over the next few months so that is everything in my lily silk order but they also really sweetly sent me a gift as well to open which i just think is so sweet also how gorgeous are their gift boxes i love them they do two different types of packaging so they do this i'll show you i actually have a clip of like everything as it came but they do these gorgeous white boxes that come with the ribbon around them they also have this really beautiful paper packaging in both a white and like an olivey gorgeous green i love that packaging so much the color choice is chef's kiss but yeah they sent me a gift to open i just think like look how gorgeous is this as like christmas gifting i'm so excited <sighs> Oh my god look how nice the wrapping is i don't want to ruin this but i'm gonna have to oh, oh my god they've sent me the white pajamas as an engagement gift oh my goodness how stunning i'm going to get these steamed and i will show you these on this is just the nicest nicest gift thank you so much to the lily silk team for these i am going to i literally i'm going to love wearing these and i'm going to get a lot of wear out of these over the next year they also sent another one. Ooh. Oh. so ryan has a pair of pajamas too this is so nice oh these are so stunning so we've got the navy blue with the black piping so mine is white with gold this is navy blue with black honestly their pajamas are so soft as well they're fully silk and that would just make the nicest christmas present oh my god can i wrap these back up and give them to ryan as a christmas present <laughs> i'm not gonna get away with that am I? those are so beautiful so thank you so much to the lily silk team for sending those over like i said i have a code for lily silk so if you do want to pick anything up i will pop it on the screen now for you to go and shop so those are the new silky pieces and knitwear that have made their way into my wardrobe and now we are going to move on to some other bits that i picked up we have a net -a porte order to go through picked up some bits from skims so firstly we have the brown body which i have been wanting for so long i have it in the long sleeve and i love it but i really wanted a shorter sleeve i was going to take this to bali and i just completely forgot but i know i'm going to get so much wear out of this in the uk as well this would look so lovely with my brown trousers you guys know i'm loving wearing brown so much at the moment but also just with every other pair of trousers that i own i think this would be so nice i can't resist skims body again from skims i picked up some of their tank tops so i have the like e crew bone colored one which i have already spilled something down on the plane to bali but i picked up another black one because i wear my black vest top from skims so much that i just needed a second one so that one whilst one is in the wash i can wear the other they're just such a good staple whether it's for layering or just wearing alone i absolutely love them and then i also picked up this was one of my main reasons for making this order with it because i needed the brown skims triangle bra i actually love like oh my god that's so nice i love that color i have a brown top from cos which is long sleeve and it's slightly sheer and i don't really mind sheer tops like i don't mind if you can see a bra through them but i like for the bra to almost like match the top and i didn't have a brown bra so i thought i'd pick up this one because i just know i just knew that skims would do the perfect brown bra i looked on asos i was really struggling to find anything at all so i knew that skims would do exactly this the shape and style that i wanted but also that it would be comfortable and the quality would be unreal because i have this in so many different colors already i've got it in like a green i've got it in i think black i've got it in gray i just i honestly rate their like soft triangle bras so much they're so comfortable and whilst i was shopping the skins items i thought i'd pick up a new dress from them you guys will know i love the skins dresses i have been wanting this one for so long i thought it would be the perfect winter i don't know what to wear dress for like dinners in the evening it could be a christmas day contender because it is just so comfy they do the off shoulder long sleeve is it fits everybody dress i think that's what it's called it's very very long but because it's so tight it kind of just fits to your body and it doesn't really matter that the length is a little bit long that's the experience i have with my other ones anyway so i'm hoping this one is the same but i just thought this would be the perfect like dress when i don't know what to wear and i can dress this up or down and it will always just look really chic and it just gives really like elegant vibes or i'm hoping so anyway so i got that in an extra small because i love the way skim stuff is like snatchy snatchy and then i got the triangle bra in extra small in the shade cocoa 
I got the vest top in a size small and the body I got in a size small as well. Stock is sometimes limited, so I take what I can get from Skims. I also have a couple more bits from Reformation. So we have this dress, which I need your opinion on. It's a little black velvet, I wanna say like a shift style dress. It's got like a wide shoulder, which is coming back in at the moment and it's very like elegant and timeless it's giving like 90s chic woman vibes however i think this is a little bit too big for me around the chest annoyingly the rest of it fits really beautifully and like skims over my figure really nicely but my chest is just not giving anymore so i'm thinking it might need just a couple of stitches around what do you call this the underarm area just to bring it in a little bit because i find it's just gaping there a little bit at the moment and i think it's letting it down but i just thought this would look beautiful with a pair of sheer tights black high heels or even a pair of knee high pointed boots i just thought this would be gorgeous it's really simple it's just got a zip back and then the rest of it is this gorgeous black velvet i got it in a size two which is normally like a short fire size for me in reformation so i don't know whether i should return it and get a size down or whether i should just give it a little stitch around the underarm and just see how I get on with it. But I would love to know what you guys think, whether you love it or not. I also picked up this dress, which I could wear now because it's long sleeve, it's quite like nice and thick, but it's more of a strategic long-term purchase for me because I love dresses in this style and I know I will get so much wear out of this. The length is also perfect. I've given this one a little try on already and it literally just falls to the perfect like length for me in terms of being a maxi dress. So if you're a shorter girl and you're looking for a long cream maxi dress, definitely check this out. It's so lovely. It's got like a lovely flared sleeve. It's high up on the neck and then it's got this gorgeous open back, which I just think is so stunning. It's in like a ribbed stretchy material which i also love i got this in a size extra small and i just think it fits really nicely i've seen my friend alana wearing a dress like this and ever since i saw that dress i was like i need a dress like that it's so beautiful so elegant and i think especially for me over the next year in terms of wearing like whites and creams a lot like i would just get so much wear out of this and i think even when i'm no longer in my bridal era i just get so much wear out of this during the summer it's a really lovely dress for a summer's day when it's not like insanely hot a really lovely one for summer dinners and summer parties because of that back like it's really giving like party at the back kind of vibes i just think it's so so beautiful this with like a low messy bun and a pair of sandals during the summer would be so gorgeous but i can also wear it now in the winter with like maybe a pair of tan boots underneath maybe for dinners or something like that it could also be a christmas day dress contender because it's just so lovely and comfortable due to that stretchy material so yeah big fan of this this was an immediate yes moving on to accessories i have so much to show you i actually am going to start with the few jewelry pieces that i have because i'm really excited about these firstly i picked up these earrings from cos i think they are stunning and again for me whilst i'm in my bridal era this kind of like pearly drop earring i think i will get so much wear out of i love the fact that there's a gold stud at the top and then it drops into a pearl earring i think they are so beautiful even if you're not in your bridal era i just i would have bought these anyway i think they are unreal let me show you you could also if you have like a gold stud that's like similar to this bit you could do an asymmetric vibe and just wear a gold stud the other side and have this as like a drop which i think would be really gorgeous but yeah i love it like especially because my hair is dark i think they just pop so beautifully so yeah i've been so excited to get my hands on those i am a big fan of pearly jewelry at the moment like if you're in your bridal era pearly jewelry is stunning they also have these earrings which are not in their packaging because i immediately had to try them on they're these big oversized hearts if you are worried about your ear being weighed down and like the hole being pulled out do not fear because these are actually clip-ons are they going to be comfy i will keep you updated but i've worn them just like around the house and i haven't like felt that weird ache that you get you know when you're a kid and you try clip-on earrings i haven't had that yet so i'm hoping they are just going to be incredibly comfy but i just think they are so so cool i think with the black reformation dress these would be unreal yeah i think this would be so cool i think the pearly ones would actually be amazing with the skims dress as well just because you've got that like off shoulder vibe i think it works really really nicely to have like a dangly earring so i'm loving these i'm a frequent visitor of the cos website and when i saw these and the hearts i 
could not resist. So I'm so excited to start wearing these soon. I think now that we're coming into party season, I'm gonna get so much wear out of them. And then I also have a little gift that Monica Vinader sent me that I thought I would show you because I just think these hoops are really beautiful. I don't know if these will be like in the Black Friday sale, but I thought I would show you anyway. Are these really beautiful? really simple like chunky hoops i think they're stunning i know i'm just showing you one in visive and it's probably really lazy but i just can't be bothered to move my hair on the other side because it's actually behaving for once but yeah they're really lovely they are like a gold hoop but they're not like a smooth gold hoop like they've got this ridge to them i just think they're so interesting but really simple and classic at the same time so you're just like never gonna feel like they're not trendy like they're not trendy they're not trendy but they're cool so those are some of the new in jewelry pieces that i got my hands on recently and i actually have a few pairs of shoes to show you now a couple of the pairs i just know some of you are not going to be a fan of but i am a big big fan of these for like lounging these also give me christmas for some reason and i just also really love that like it's giving log cabin in the woods vibes these i have just been loving wearing with my monday swim knitted set that you will have seen in my barley haul i've been wearing that set non-stop since i got home i just absolutely love it i wore it on the flight there i wore it on the flight back it's so comfortable it just keeps me really warm but without being too warm and too heavy and these are just so cute along with them and they also because of the platform some of you are not going to love the platform but i as a short woman I'm a big fan of these. They're just, I'm treating them more like slippers than like a fashion accessory, but you know me, this time of year, I just love a comfy, cozy shoe and this is that. I also got a new pair of actual Uggs and I'm not completely sold on these yet because these are a new style of Ugg for me, but I wanted to retire my chestnut standard Ugg Ultra Minis because they're starting to get, like the color of them is starting to just get a little bit grubby and i was like do you know what these would be perfect like indoor shoes i'll just clean up the bottom and i'll just wear these as like my indoor slippers so i decided to get another pair of uggs but i decided to go for the platform base instead of the regular base and i know some people are really anti the platform base i mean i know some people were anti the ugg ultra minis in the first place but i picked up the ugg ultra minis with the platform base of the shoe and to be honest i find a platform base on a shoe quite flattering on me being quite vertically challenged but i know it's just not for everyone but again when i want to wear them with trousers and the trousers are a bit longer these are kind of are ideal for me i also just love how oh, soft and snuggly uggs are on the inside they're just unreal i didn't actually know until recently you know they're the most cozy and effective and warming on your feet when you don't wear them with socks which blew my mind but i actually do wear them a lot without socks when i'm wearing them in the house but when I leave the house, I just feel like I need socks, you know? Anyway, I picked these up. I got them in a size, I think it was a size five. US seven, UK five, yes. I always go very true to size with my Uggs. I also got the, whatever these are called, in a size five as well. And I find they fit really well. They're really comfy. They don't slip off my feet. I've heard some people saying they're really hard to walk in. I don't find that at all, which I was surprised by because if anyone's gonna find something in life difficult, I feel like it would be me. I haven't found them difficult. I absolutely love them. And I love this color as well. Just love it brown me so those are a couple of new pairs of shoes that i picked up for like comfy cozy days i also have a pair of new boots so i know some of you are going to enjoy these if you're not an ugg lover you will hopefully like these not that i'm wearing them for you but I've got these shoes i actually got them off john lewis but they're from june basically i wasn't fussy about the brand but i was searching for a pair of flat knee high boots that aren't super wide on the leg some of you might remember that i tried on a pair from anina bing earlier in the season and i just found them a little bit too wide on my ankle and my ankles are very very small like compared to the rest of my proportions so i really struggle when it comes to boots so i picked these up and i'm hoping we're gonna get on with them i'm also hoping they're not gonna be too wide on the calf because again i really struggle with that and i'm hoping they're not gonna come up too high on the leg either because again i really struggle with that a lot of knee high boots are too knee high on me and they basically come up over my knee so i'm hoping these on the model didn't look like they came up to her knee they looked a little bit shorter so i'm hoping these will be really good on me because i really i think they're 
just such a nice style. They've got a little bit of a heel to them, so they're not like dead flat. So I'm hoping they'll be really comfy on my foot because my foot likes a little bit of an arch, like not too much, not a crazy high heel, but my foot doesn't like to be flat traditionally. Like I can't walk around in Uggs all day, but I think I could probably walk around in these all day if they, fingers crossed if they fit and they're comfy. But I'm hoping they do fit because I really want a pair of knee-high boots that aren't suede. I have my Holland Cooper suede ones and I love them. I love wearing them with skinny jeans, but it's just not super practical. Whereas these are just lovely and practical, but also they'll look really cool with like skirts and like a big oversized like black coat. And they're just gonna be the perfect knee-high boot to wear when I don't want to wear my knee-high boots that are heeled. Like I love my Stuart Wiseman boots, but sometimes I just want to go for something a little bit less dressy so this I'm hoping will be the answer to that. Finally I picked up a new jacket which some of you I think may have seen already if you watched not the last vlog the vlog before. I I know I say my rule is to not buy things in multiple colours unless it's like a basic like a vest top but I could not resist getting the Jane and Tash jacket in the black as well as my beloved burgundy brown tone. I am obsessed with it so much. But when I'm wearing my grey trousers, I just really wanted a leather jacket that I could wear with those as well. Or if I just wanted like an all black look, but the same silhouette. So yeah, I picked it up in the black as well which is a big investment like these are such good dupes for the YSL leather jacket but it doesn't mean that they are cheap by any means they're still an investment purchase but they give that kind of gorgeous YSL leather jacket look but without the very very high price tag I also prefer this style over the YSL leather jacket just because the shoulders are a little bit less chunky and I find on me like that silhouette just it's not it's not right it doesn't work but these are actually my perfect leather jacket they're not too bikery either like there's no zips or anything like that they're just really simple and soft but like tough at the same time I just love that overall look of them so yeah I made an investment purchase purchase and picked it up in the black where I just know I will wear this forever like everyone needs a black leather jacket you know so I picked that up and I'm just I'm so so happy with it so that is everything that I have added into my wardrobe this month I really hope you guys have enjoyed seeing this video and seeing all of the new things let me know what your favorites were in the comments below I'd love to know and let me know if there's anything that you also pick up as well that is going to be it for me today I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys again very very soon love you bye